Good morning, folks. Some of these are city lights, and some are not. Wildfires burning in West and North Australia. South of Australia took an unusual tremor, along with the Western Indian Ocean off the coast of Madagascar. North in Sri Lanka, torrential rains have killed hundreds, left 175,000 homeless, and doesn't look like it's going to stop soon. Parts of Russia and Northeastern Europe are devastated by the cold right now. Combining national totals, hundreds are dying by the day. High temperatures in Moscow are about negative 20, Siberian nights at negative 50. West of that in the UK, a low pressure system is making landfall, bringing high wind and rain to much of that area. Cyclone Evan, now just a blip on the map, not really even headed for New Zealand anymore, and even if Evan ended up in Oz, he exited extreme 36 hours ago, still got your thunderstorm watches. Had a snowstorm hit Vancouver, dust storm in Texas, sky turned rusty brown in moments, you could even see it on radar. The real US weather story, however, is Draco, dumped tons of snow across the Midwest, pushed wind speeds over 100 miles per hour in some locations. On the visible cloud images, it is very tough to see rotation, although it's close here. The wind map shows speed regardless of water vapor or lack thereof. Where the air goes north, we warm. Coming south, we cool. Out west, you can see the next movement coming in as well. So if you had to guess where the lows are, yep, that's how you get the counterclockwise helical motion. Here's your watch zones for tonight. Well, folks, it is what it is. The backside is popping off, but earth-facing flares are nil. Same for filament eruptions. Looking at the solar wind, at 0 hundred hours UTC, we see the temperature, speed, and density of the solar wind rise slightly, but I do not think that is what's causing a return of the multi-line resonance. First, we had jumped to the baseline before, and when that ends, we almost always return to multi-line frequency first. Secondly, at exactly 0 hundred UTC, this big low pressure system moves just enough in relation to Gakona, Alaska to put it in the way of some warmer air spun up from the Pacific rather than cold Arctic air. Temperature jumped 30 degrees pretty quickly. The wind speed, and more importantly, direction changed as I previously stated, and the barometric pressure hitch suggests a shift from cell to cell. Over to the sun, where shyness has set in, even monster sunspots run and hide when they face Earth these days. Mr. Gerald, you can come down from the mountain now. This ain't happening by tomorrow, or the next day. Not unless the most wicked sunspot morphing we've ever seen takes place. I guess that's possible, but I think you can expect to see this news for quite some time. We got dark coronal holes all over the place on the sun. Still got a few filaments as well. Lastly, for those still scared, still thinking it's coming down tomorrow and there's nothing you can do about it, well, if something were coming, we absolutely could do something about it. You have no idea how powerful we are, but you can get a glimpse in my video, I Am Harp. It's linked below. Manifest peace and love tonight and tomorrow. You know, just in case. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.